Owner of Dairy Queen won't apologize for politically incorrect sign photos. A Dairy Queen establishment got into a little hot water as of lately after they displayed a controversial sign. What makes things even crazier in the eyes of some people is that the owner of the Dairy Queen will not apologize for the sign. In Kewiscombe, Wisconsin, a Dairy Queen gained some unwarranted attention after they decided to post a sign that went viral. Placed in the front window for years is a sign with a controversial message to patrons. Using some common words and phrases everyone hears, the sign garnered attention as it started a debate when it was spotted by an out-of-towner. Printed in red and white, the post easily grabs one's focus before they enter the door. Displayed for all to see, the sign warns those entering the Kewiscom Dairy Queen that, this restaurant is politically incorrect, noting that staff say, Merry Christmas, Happy Easter, and, God bless America, according to WDJT Milwaukee. We salute and honor the flag, the sign adds, stating that they, give thanks to our troops, as well as police officers, firefighters, and the USA, too. In addition, the sign also states that the restaurant offers free Sundays to military veterans on Veterans Day. It concludes with a hard to ignore, very bold, in God we trust. I felt the sign was appropriate to hang in terms of being transparent about the views of the owner and staff supporting God and country, said Kevin Schooneman, the franchise owner of this particular Dairy Queen. It just seems that those kinds of values and principles are becoming controversial in society. The sign was first hung years ago after Schooneman received a customer complaint about Christian music playing in the restaurant, according to the owner, and it was seemingly effective in snuffing out any further objections. Remaining in place for years without any other issues, the sign only drew attention when an out-of-town guest from Oregon took notice of it. The Oregon guest posted a picture of Schooneman's sign on Facebook with a complaint that read, I find this extremely offensive, explaining that it was, posted to the front door at the Kewiscom, WI, DQ, and asking Dairy Queen's corporate office to speak with the franchise owner. The image of the sign quickly went viral. After receiving a tremendous amount of attention, the original post, expressing concern for what the Oregon guest felt were seemingly exclusive ideals represented in the message of the sign, was later deleted, according to Kiro. At least one commenter expressed relief over the post's removal, saying that they wondered why the message caused such vitriol among some people. There are some people who are agreeing with the sign, and that's okay, but at the same time are making personal attacks towards the person who shared the picture and voiced her opinion, which is definitely not okay, the social media user explained in a comment. But, that was just one reaction to the controversy that unfolded. One man traveled from Cincinnati to visit the DQ and had his picture taken with the owner. Not only have people traveled from all around to visit the DQ location and show their support, local business owners agree with Schooneman's decision to hang the sign as well, stating that the customer can decide not to enter if they disagree with the owner's expression of his beliefs. He posted it on the door so you see it before you walk in, explained April Sirwi, another local business owner. You don't have to walk in if you don't agree with it. And, April isn't alone in her sentiments and support for Schooneman being able to run his business as he wishes, either. Wisconsin State Representative Jesse Creamer visited the DQ location with his family and posted the above photo to social media with a caption that read, Thank you CBS 58 and a friendly Oregon visitor for making our hometown Dairy Queen in Kewiscom the latest Wisconsin tourist attraction. Happy to see that the owner has not backed down from his First Amendment right to free expression. In his post, Creamer continued, FYI this sign has been on the door for four years, and included the hashtags hashtag WITourism and hashtag Wicompus Free Speech. Not only do local business owners and politicians support franchise owner Kevin Schooneman, but local residents do too. In this small community, I don't think it's a problem, said Liz Torreson, a resident who was interviewed by the local news. We're all just liking each other and having fun, she added. Dairy Queen expressed that it did not endorse this franchise owner's approach. This sign expresses the views of this independent owner only and does not speak for ADQ Corporation or any of our other independent franchise owners, a statement from DQ's corporate headquarters read, adding, we expect our franchisees and employees to treat every person who walks through our doors with the utmost dignity and respect. Nothing less is acceptable, 